Besides the aforementioned basic characteristics, the quality of roles within our working team is tied to some important factors. In fact, a working team is successful only if each role responds to some characteristics, such as a role must be identified in relation to key areas, it must be assigned in relation to the competences of members, it must be focused on giving value to the skills and competences of each team member. A role must be identified in relation to the key areas. Some key areas within a working group can't be left aside, vacant or with no responsible, but need to be allocated with specific roles, with specific tasks and responsibilities. The key areas are essentially four. Job responsibilities and activities, relations among members, results, quality of the working activities. Key area one, job responsibilities and activities. Roles in this area are closely related to the responsibility sharing and risk taking. We can outline here two roles. The methodologian, he is organized, rational, careful to use the right tools and methods. He has a problem solving attitude and is a useful resource for the organization of working activities. The negotiator. He is keen on increasing participation as well as integration and cohesion among members. He arbitrates the different points of view and supports a shared decision-making process. Key area 2. Relations among members. Roles in this area are mainly two and they guarantee a high level of exchange and an atmosphere suitable for professional as well as personal growth. The communicator, he is the one who listens to each member's opinion, trying to merge ideas and suggests methods of discussion suitable for the team. The facilitator, he is the one involving all team members so as to avoid any isolation. He is also focused on each member's needs and requests in order to build up a positive and peaceful working environment. Key area 3. Results. It is fundamental for a team to be able to reach the goal set. Two roles find their way here. The supervisor. He is the one responsible for all information, decisions and data acquired throughout the work so that members don't get lost in analysis of collected information and avoid arguing over decisions already discussed. The executor. He is pragmatic and works on how to make ideas concrete and respect deadlines and results standards. Key area 4. Quality of the working activities. Roles in this area are closely related to the actions carried out by each member to achieve results, innovation and improvement. This area embraces growth, quality and credibility of the team. The roles are the visionary, he is the one going for original and upstream ideas or has different points of view. He is also keen on using new skills to find new solutions and new relations. The innovator, the person who supports new working methods, new tools and ideas in order to get innovative solutions and turn the group into a future-oriented working team. A role must be assigned in relation to the competences of members. Roles, tasks and responsibilities must be appointed clearly and explicitly and also need to be related to the skills a member possesses. It's important to always check the perception the member has about his role and what the other members think as well. The role assignment process is aimed to avoid any anonymity or obscurity within the working team. A role must be focused on giving value to the skills and competences of team members. In our interprofessional working team, each member possesses a set of skills which must not only be sector-specific, for instance, 
high skills in urban planning, in architecture, in planning and managing a project, and so on, but shall also envisage transversal skills, like reasoning, critical thinking, synthesizing information, research skills, creativity, listening, social justice and global issues awareness, and so on. Within an interprofessional working team, each member carries with him his set of competences and skills, and it therefore be useful organizing the work into macro areas, encompassing and giving value to those different professional skills and competences. The result will be a set of complex and integrated professional capabilities specifically aimed at carrying out every working activity. Here are some working areas that require a set of integrated skills and competences. 1. The strategic and logical area. Competences required here are programming, planning, analysis of problems and solutions, communication management and information. 2. The area of communication and relations. Competences required here are communication, negotiation, group management, problem solving, risk management, leading a meeting, and so on. 3. The management area. Competences required here are organization, decision making, motivation, team building, change management, and so on. 4. The quality area. Assessment of products and services realized, confidence and reliability, transparency, positivity, open-mindedness, and integration with the social environment.